Isn't it funny how life works? When you're in dire need of something from other people, it's like you can't find anybody. People's phones all of a sudden stop working. But once you have everything you need, people are blowing up your phone, trying to get in contact with you, make connections with you. It's like Drake said in Over, I know way too many people in this room right now that I didn't know last year. Who the hell are y'all? People that you don't even recognize are showing up out of the wazoo to get your attention, to get your uh, help. But what does this really say about human commitment and friendship? I have a story today that I want to break down. It's in the Bible that I found to be really this story used to always get me emotional in church, even when I was a little kid, because it just shows how committed these people, these men were in their pursuit of excellence, in their pursuit of what they believed in. But before we get too far into that, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support are in the description below. I'm going to give you guys a quick second to do that as I take a swig of agua. <clears throat> See, the story that I'm talking about is the three men. And if you're a Christian, you probably have heard this story before. Um, the three men are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They believed in God wholeheartedly that they were really to sacrifice their whole lives. The king told the masses to kneel and all the masses kneeled before the king. But these three men did not because they knew the real king was Jesus Christ, they knew the real king was God. And I'm not here to, you know, force my religious beliefs or, or you know, I'm not even saying that I'm religious, I'm just taking a story from a book that's very valuable that applies to everybody. You don't have to believe in it. I'm not saying I, I believe in it, but this is a good story for us all to understand when it comes to manhood and masculinity and loyalty and, and commitment and sacrifice. So the king told everybody to kneel and most of the masses kneel, but these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not kneel. And they got cast in the burning pit for doing so. And they willingly did it. They didn't buckle on the pressure. They didn't say, woe is me. They didn't get scary. They accepted their fate. And because they did that, the king noticed it wasn't just three men. It was four in the burning pit. And the fourth was God. I mean, that story just always rose the hairs off of my body because it's just so, it's so hard to find men like that in your everyday life. You guys see it. See, what I'm noticing about today's culture and today's men and today's people just in general, they just quit too damn easy. Like literally, they quit everything when there's a turbulence, when there's a, um, a some turbulence in the air during takeoff or in the maintaining of the plane, they instantly parachute off the plane. They panic, they hit the panic button, they leave and they blame you for it. And then they get mad at you or they want to spin the block back around. <clears throat> Excuse me. They want to come back around once you figured it out and be successful. They want to come back around once you figured it out. Once you're at the peak of your success, 
Now they want to come back around and say, hey, you know, hey, big head. The women come back around. Hey, man, you know, I'm sorry for what I did. Could you give me a second chance? This is when all this idiocracy, this stupid stuff comes back. This fickleness of human beings, right? So people today, they quit everything. They quit their job too easy. They don't like, they got to work on weekends, so they quit the job. They don't like that they have to work 10 hours a day, quit the job. They quit their friends too quickly. When their friends need them or when their friend is struggling, they just leave them hanging. Leave them hanging, leave them hanging dry. We need a shoulder to cry on. Nobody's there. People quit relationships and marriages too quickly. As soon as the other person does something that doesn't benefit them, they're ready to blow up the entire relationship with children involved, with commitment involved. And then point the finger at you because you were the problem when in actuality, they were the ones that started the whole ordeal. This is, these are the human beings that we have walking around in the Western culture right now. And so I get it. If you guys are like, hey, I'm, I'm just going to chill out and relax on relationships, on, on people in general, I can't blame you. You know, these people didn't grow up with a father in the home, so they don't know anything about sacrifice and commitment. They don't know what a man is. They don't know what a man looks like. And it's hard to be what you have not seen growing up. So our society is not heading in the right direction at all. So plus we live in this culture of social media where everything's about getting followers. Everything's about getting likes not really about substance. It's not really about progress. It's about doing what gets the most attention, that gets the most eyeballs watching your life, the highlights of your life. Nobody shows the struggles of their life because if you're honest, most people fail more than they succeed. But they own, they keep that hidden. I mean, if you watch so many people on some of you guys' as friends on social media, you would think that they're living it up. And then you talk to them in real life and realize that they're struggling or you realize that they're, you know, all of that is a facade. People have to keep up the image of looking successful of doing well. They're not actually focused on doing well. And that's why I got off social media is because most people are not being authentic to who they really are. And most people aren't. They are not, their lives aren't very interesting. They're not doing anything out of the ordinary. It's like they cast it. They think they're being revolutionary. They think they're being different, but they just swapped out one rule book, one rule book for another one. And I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end it with this Drake verse. I'm gonna end this video with this Drake verse because he said some of the realest shit that I've ever heard. Um, I think the song is emotionless and he said, you know, I got all these followers, but who's going to really follow me to the end? I guess we'll get to the end and we'll figure it out and we'll see. Even Jesus got to the end of his life and I don't think any of the disciples were there whenever he got 
you know, crucified. Test the people, test the loyalty of the people around you. Now, my policy is don't do things that you don't, don't ask questions and don't test things that you don't want to know the answer to. Because most times you're going to find out a truth that you do not know, that you do not really want to accept. But you have to test people. And you're going to realize most people are going to fail the test than pass it. So that's my video. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. You guys have a good day, a good week. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video on the way out. And we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.